As you look back on your tenure since, I think, 2010, is that right? That's right. Uh, as the Asian Pacific Director of the Foreign Office, what are the main things you take away from that experience before you leave us to go to New York to be the Deputy to Permarim as Ambassador of the United Nations? Well, Roddy, thank you very much, and thank you very much for having me. Um, the first thing I take away from my time as Asia Pacific Director, I think, is a sense of the enormous energy and dynamism, not just that is in Asia Pacific itself, but also in the British approach um, to Asia Pacific region. We have made a massive effort in the last three years, not just to boost our ministerial ties, although that's incredibly important, and the Prime Minister has led that effort, but also to boost our commercial ties, our cultural ties, our defence ties, and to really broaden the relationship relationships that we have with countries across the Asia-Pacific region. I think the second thing I take away from this is that um, we have a very big focus on China, and quite rightly so, because China is an engine of growth in the region and continues to be so. But we also have some big relationships in Southeast Asia that we have, I think, in the past neglected and that we are now paying far more attention to. These are historic relationships, but they're also new relationships that we're building. And I'm proud that in the last year we have established um, an embassy in Laos again after over 27 years away. Um, so that we now are one of three European countries that are fully represented in the ASEAN nations. And I think the third thing I'd say is that we have really made an effort to build and strengthen our old alliances in the region. Um, in particular with Australia and New Zealand. The Foreign Secretary has led that effort. He's the first Foreign Secretary ever to visit New Zealand twice in his tenure, um, but also in a series of structured uh, ministerial-led discussions with Australia, which now happen every year but also with um, allies like Japan, allies like Malaysia and Singapore from the Commonwealth, and also with the Pacific Islands. So these are old relationships that have been revitalized. Because ultimately, Roddy, I think the main point that I want to make is we can take none of this for granted. Um, we are becoming more competitive in Asia, but so is everybody else. Here we are in Edinburgh, you with the view of the, the castle behind you, in a country which uh, historically has had huge links with Asia where uh, our mission with Asia Cognitive Institute is to reignite in the young and in tomorrow's leaders uh, that spirit which carried their forebears and members of your family too, overseas, um, to get engaged. And it seemed a bit that somehow we'd lost that. So our, our, our desire is, particularly with the SMEs and others, to reignite that spirit. What is it that people in Scotland need to do to, to re-engage with Asia, do you think? I think above all, um, Roddy, it's, it's to rediscover that expeditionary spirit, um, an expeditionary spirit that has led Scots uh, to the Asia-Pacific region for not just years, but centuries now. Um, if you look at um, how companies export, um, about 10% of our SMEs across the United Kingdom as a whole um, export. We need to get that total up to more like 20%, which would bring us on a parallel with other European countries. And I think Scottish companies, there are many, many examples of Scottish companies that are really good at this, but we need more people to follow. I think the second thing I'd say um, is that it's not just about us going out to Asia, but it's also about welcoming Asia here. And I think when I think of um, the strength of Scottish educational institutions, the welcome that they give to students from the Asia-Pacific region, I'm struck when I go around the region how many of the students there have studied in Scotland and how many of them have a really strong feeling about how they've been received. So it's a two-way thing. You're so right, yet there appear to be impediments to moving forward. Visas are one of them. Um, and no doubt you'll be asked some questions about that. Um, another, of course, is the two referenda coming up. The first, well, arguing away the most important one to do with the European Union. We see the Japanese commenting on what they might or might not do in terms of jobs. Do we need to take that seriously? I think, Roddy, that um, everybody looks um, at the United Kingdom because we are at a very important part in our constitutional history. And I think the eyes of the world are focused on both of these important referenda. I think what I would say um, is that, first of all, there is a bedrock of goodwill there. And I think the reason the Japanese comment in the way that they do is because 110,000 jobs in the United Kingdom as a whole are dependent on Japanese investment. And that's been hugely successful. Um, I'd also say that um, um, I think the uh, referendum in Scotland will be very important for people because a lot of countries in the Asia-Pacific region are looking at um, um, movements inside their own borders 
which are tense and which are difficult. And I think one thing I would say about this, and obviously I'm not going to comment on the independence referendum, but one thing I would say about this is the tone in which this uh, debate is being conducted is very important. I mean, this is a civilised debate between peaceful um, parts of the United Kingdom um, that are deciding on whether they want a future that is together or whether they want a future that is apart. And I think the tone of that debate says something very important about the kinds of people that we are. And I think that actually, basically, is a very positive thing. I think it's a very great note to end on. We're absolutely delighted again that you're here. Uh, with the Edge Commons to thanks for coming up to Edinburgh. And we've got lots of family connections up here. But we look forward with great interest to hearing what you have to say. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.